Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit about writing your own container classes in C++, because that's something that I do a lot. Um, Serenity has uh, custom vectors and strings and hash maps and queues and lists and stuff. Um, because, I mean, I knew when I started the project that I was going to do custom versions of all of these things, um, just because a, it's fun, I like that type of programming, and B, um, then we get exactly what we need and what we want and nothing else. And uh, both of the big projects that I've worked on in my life, Qt and WebKit, uh, have made their own containers and maintained those. Um, so it's just what I'm used to, and I, I definitely spend a lot of time working on the WebKit containers especially. So, <clears throat> it's something that I have a lot of experience working on. Um, now, the main thing that I learned from those projects about uh, making your own containers is that it's a thousand times easier and better if you also write a lot of tests. Because having tests is how you're able to have these widely used containers and then you can still change them around and improve them without uh, having to worry that you're breaking your code base, right? And, you know, that sounds obvious, but, but like, it wasn't obvious to me when, <laughs> when I started out. <clears throat> um, and, uh, yeah, so, the, the, the thing that makes it fun, because <laughs> that's the first reason that I mentioned, uh, is that it's, it's a fun style of programming, um, and, you know, C++ gets a lot of criticism for hiding um, what's really going on underneath its, its abstractions. <clears throat> and I think that that can be true, and it's really up to you as a programmer to make sure that you have a really good understanding of the abstractions that you're using. And uh, I think the best way to do that is to work on those abstractions. You know, not all the time, but, but somewhat regularly. Um, so for instance, um, a few days ago in Serenity, I added um, like an iterator to uh, iterate over this container called inline linked list, which is uh, one of our list templates in ACK. Um, and <clears throat> now that made it possible to use uh, range for iteration to iterate over an inline linked list, which was not possible before. Like you had to get the the pointer to the first element and then dereference the next pointer in each one. And <clears throat> like that type of work is, I find very motivating because, <clears throat> and fun, because whenever you do something like that, then it gives you, um, gives you the uh, ability to go and like update a whole bunch of other code that uses this uh, and it can now be slightly nicer. And I don't know about you, but for me, there's something that's very, very motivating and, and uh, um, feels very good about making something slightly nicer um, because it's like I have to go and visit that code again and then I get to look at it and I interact with it a little bit and I really find that interacting with code is extremely good for maintaining um, a mental model of that code. So like I write some code a month ago um, and maybe I forget how it works now but uh, in part, thanks to this continuous refactoring and optimization work that I do on my containers, um, I get to revisit um, code that I, I didn't otherwise work on. And in doing so, uh, that gives me, gives me like a refresher on that code. Uh, even if I'm just, you know, applying some little iterator pattern or something that's now possible, um, even that, that little act of doing that gives me an update on how that code worked, and, and I like that. Uh, at least I imagine that it works pretty well. Um, and then, of course, uh, the fact that, that uh, it allows me to, to have all the things that I want in the containers and nothing that I don't want, um, I, I like that too. Um, I like the... I currently like the string class that we have, for instance, that it's uh, it's internally reference counted so that it's uh, it doesn't 
cost you much to copy a string because it's just uh, incrementing the ref count internally. Like that type of thing. Like that's the string class behavior that I want. And um, so I just implement that. And I guess I would really suggest that if you've never implemented any containers, then it's a really, really fun and um, good thing to do. And I would probably suggest that everyone implement at least one container, um, like a template container in C++. <clears throat> Just because it, it makes you see the language from a different perspective than someone who's only ever using templates. Uh, and an easy one to do is like an array, for instance. Like you can make an array template um, or a vector if you're looking for something a little bit more challenging. Uh, because <clears throat> there's like there's these there are these things that you don't use that much if you're just using the templates, but when you do use the templates, especially for containers like uh, like uh, invoking destructors manually and placement new, um, and like allocation strategies and stuff, uh, it's just a. It, I I just feel like it's it's very very good for your programming, um, I don't know, skill, I guess, to, to implement some containers. I'm not saying that you have to use the containers that you implement in all your code, uh, but implementing them, at least one, I think is something that everyone can benefit from. Uh, and in my case, I'm just going to keep implementing all of them because, because it's just, it's just how I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, so I guess I don't really know what my point is today. I just felt like talking a little bit about writing your own containers, your own templates. Um, if you haven't done it, I suggest maybe trying it out sometime. I think you, you would definitely learn from it, and uh, you might even enjoy it. And who knows, maybe you'll find some use for your template too. Uh, anyways. I guess that's I guess that's all I had to say today. So thanks for hanging out with me on the commute. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.